Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, so we got the subs in today. This is the 12-inch version. Uh, I did the 8-inch version just a minute ago. That video's on the channel as well. This is the Dark Audio Industries NKO12. This is a 500 RMS model. Uh, one in the box with a gross weight of 24 and 22 for net weight. So the sub weights were out 22 and the gross weight with the box and everything is 24. I got eight of these. I got two eights. So let's open this one up show y'all what you're going to get. They are going out of business. So I figured I could make a video on the subs and also post up the specs so everyone can see what the specs of these subs are and down the road they decide to remove the website and you can't get the specs anymore kind of like obsidian audio when they went out of business you can't find anything about them you can barely even find them for sale now and they were a great sub for the price okay so first their packing wasn't great their stickers are a joke um, we do vinyl decals and these things are just a they're a joke you can squeeze in them out and finally get them, but they're not a very good decal. And let's talk about this bad boy. It feels a lot heavier when you're picking up sideways. Alright. Okay, so this is the Dark Audio Industries in KO12. Non pressed paper cone, it's double stitch surround, uh, foam surround. It's got a nice rubber gasket. Eight gauge push terminals, three inch voice coil, um, good venting, stamp steel basket. It has glues and bolts to hold the spiders in place. Those are the, let me get the correct name for these real quick Nomex spiders. So the Nomex spiders, good venting on the pole. So nice, nice big vent. Optimal cooling. This is the dual two ohm version. Um, they did cheap out on the the cone. It was a little flimsy compared to some that I've seen on other subs this this price. But overall, it is a nice subwoofer. It has seven intense leads, red spider packs. There's two spider packs on this. It's got a ceramic black coated voice coil, three inch again. And overall, it's very decent 500 RMS sub. It says underrated, but 500 RMS is about what I would put this at. Now the motor could obviously be uh, used for recone um, later on. We could even probably still use the basket. I have to pull some specs and see, but we're going to play these. Uh, we're going to do a 612 build in the Forerunner with two spares and see how, how well it does. These were $60 on the going out of business sale. They normally sell for $109. And honestly, for the price, you really can't beat it. They're a great subwoofer. So we're going to do some testing with these and more videos. So stay tuned for that. Also, if you haven't, check out the build vlog. Um, it's going to have the crunch amps, these subs, it's a complete budget build. So if I can find it used and, or cheap, it's going to be in this build. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.